Hi guys, Misty here. Welcome back for another episode of Color Your World with Diamond Painting along with me. I am working on ocean waves still. Um, and this is my progress. It's been a few days. Um, I have been working off of camera. Well, actually, I've been um, only doing some um, time lapse videos the last few days so I could get some work done. Um, Trying to be a little on the quieter side because my boys are still asleep and my husband's not home today. <clears throat> so I'm just trying to get a little recording done um, and do a little chat session. I don't know how long it'll last, like I said, because my kids um, will eventually be waking up I'm sure um, so I've been enjoying working on this but the diamonds feel a little on the tight side and I'm starting to have a little bit of line issues um, but I'm trying to I'm trying to ignore that and just try to um, you know, fix them if I can. This is as far over as I'm going. And then I'm going to start going down. So, because it's harder to work on this um, as the sections go over further. So... So if you want to grab a drink or grab a diamond painting and paint along with me, that would be fabulous. Um, there's not much going on. Um, my husband and I are still watching our TV shows. Um, we didn't realize how many TV shows we would have to watch in order to, um, watch the Marvel series in, like, an order that's done based on timeline. And, and then we have to jump back and forth to, which is... A little bit nerve-wracking because <laughs> you're like but I want to know what happened in the finale but now I have to start a new show you know in the middle of all of that but um, we actually um, are Verizon customers and so we get um, Disney Plus for uh, for free for one year so Um, since we get it free for one year, um, we canceled our Netflix, um, subscription because we figured we don't need both because you can only watch one thing at a time anyway. So, um, uh, but then when we started the series, we realized that there are still some, still some stuff on Netflix for Marvel because they still have a contract so so we had to get that back so I'm trying to make good use of of the Netflix at least because um, there's a lot of series on there that we have to watch for this 
And there's also movies on there that I don't really want to watch. Um, I didn't really care too much for the Guardians of the Galaxy. Some parts of it were funny, but... Like, I don't know. It was just, it was a little weird for me. Um, and we had to watch both of them. <laughs> so, I finally realized why, why people like the character Groot. Because I didn't even know anything about him um, before watching that. I just seen, like, everybody... Um, Everybody seems to like him. I mean, he's cute and everything, but I don't know. I still... I still don't fully get the whole thing on group, but, you know. Um, it's okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, just waking up and kind of... Um, trying to start my day and, but I wanted to get some recording done, but when I wake up sometimes in the morning, I'm a little nasally, so if I sound nasally, I apologize in advance. <laughs> um, The lines just keep getting more and more crooked, and it drive, it's driving me nuts. I feel like I need to skip a row or something to kind of push them around, but, you know, because they, they're supposed to fix themselves pretty much, but I don't know. I don't know what it is. Trying to jump off the table painting. I don't know. Oh, wow. Yeah, so these diamonds do not feel at all the way they're supposed to. And as you can see, I just rubbing my finger across it, like, took off a gem. So I'm a little frustrated because that means I'm probably, like, since I'm going to be, um, since I'm going to be, putting this on stretcher bars. That means that I'm going to have to seal this painting before, before putting it on the stretcher, stretcher bar canvases, which really sucks. I was hoping that the gem quality would be good enough. But I can barely even run my hand across it. And like I said before, if it all is well, if the quality is good, you should be able to run your fingers across it without it popping up.
I realize that I'm probably going to need more of this color, which really sucks because my husband's not here to help me um, replenish the gems because I have a harder time getting around this table with this big old painting on it. So, but I'm hoping that I can at least get a little bit of recording done before that happens, but um, I'm probably um, going to put up a video of all of the segment that I did like by itself of, of just um, the time lapse as a video. I think I'm making good progress on this one um, right now. So my, my children's pediatrician called me yesterday to discuss whether or not she thinks that um, my children would benefit from going to school and what the plan was for next year. Um, so I got an email from the school um, saying that they want to return to normal classes and then they'll have virtual classes for families that are not comfortable with returning back to school full time but they're only doing that for kindergarten through eighth grade which is that's my my children's elementary school goes from K or it goes from ECE till um, until 8th grade. So, um, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of scary because the kids that you do hear about in the news getting whatever it is called um, for their version of COVID sounds pretty scary to me. Um, but she's saying that the risks of my children not going to school outweighs the risk of them actually catching anything. And um, she thinks it would be worse on them socially, academically, um, all of that, then, um, then it would be, you know, for the risk of, of them catching the virus. So, um, she was, you know, basically like, I, outweigh the benefits for even for my own family and um you know you've got to you've got to take social um anxiety and, or social you know stuff in there too um so you know their well their well-being is that they go to school and you know, I don't know if she even has any kids or or whatnot, but she basically was saying like if it was her her kids, she would be sending them to school. And honestly, um, my three year old would be is going to start preschool because of his um, needing speech therapy. 
And they, uh, the school already said that they are not going to um, do EC classes online. Because really, honestly, they don't learn anything. Like, not my kids anyway. Like, my experience is anything virtual for the kids didn't work. So, he, my, my three-year-old was getting um, speech therapy, OT therapy, all virtually since all of this happened. And um, he hated it. He hated looking at the phone. He hated talking to them. He hated playing, um, having to play and then watching him play. Um, he hated all of that most days. Some days he was okay. And it's funny because he doesn't mind the phone if the phone is doing what he wants it to do. But when it came to talking to them, he did not he did not want to talk to them, especially over the phone. So he would just run away. And he was barely getting any anything out of it. And so it really sucked to um, try to do therapy with with him because you know he would just cry and lose his mind and they you know they they would break it up into like half hour sessions um, twice a week. And he still was just like, no, I'm not having this. We're not doing this. So most of it was us, my husband or I, um, you know, talking about um, the skills with, with them. But honestly, um, my son doesn't like to mimic a lot or he, he's has started to um it's like it's the cutest thing because he doesn't he doesn't really have very many words but he'll go da <laughs> my husband will say what and he'll say i want uh, or he'll say i eat and then he'll say what he wants to eat <laughs> And, you know, for us, it's a little bit of a guessing game because at that point, he's like, I eat blah, 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 blah. And we're like, what? Okay. Uh, so then we have to run down and uh, run down a list of things that he likes to eat that it could possibly be. And, um, but he'll say, um, duh. I want phone, but he doesn't say phone. He says something else, but you, but he says the word, the same sound every time. So to him, he, you know, that's what he's saying. He's saying phone, but we don't understand it. Cause it's like, oh, I want oh, and it doesn't, um, uh, or, you know, like, it doesn't really sound like phone at all. So, um, and we're trying to break him of the habit of wanting his dad's phone. So, um, but he has an app on, on one of my old phones that he uses. Um, and it's sign language for babies. And... It, like, it gets him to repeat words because it will, you know, show you the sign of, like, say, apple. And it'll say, apple, in, a, like, a kid's voice. And there's, like, an animated baby in it. And he will play with that app and repeat the words that are... You know, coming up, like, he'll be a rainbow, rainbow, and he'll go, Emma, 
or however he says it, he says it his own way. Um, and so we try to use that app to kind of reinforce some of the things in in his surroundings so he can kind of get an, a, you know, verb, like a, more than just like saying the word and not knowing what it is. We try to, if he, if we can, we try to give him something solid that he can like look at. You know, if like there's a book, if it, if he, you know, goes to book and, um, and then we'll find a book and be like, book, so that he knows, you know, that, that a book is a book and it's not just a word being said that he's just copying. Um... So, my older son, who's five, um, he did the same exact thing that my, um, my three-year-old did, pretty much. Like, he would go through the list of signs, and he would say the words. He would repeat the words after, after the baby, the animated baby. And he was really fascinated with that's another reason why I, I tried it on my younger son because my older son adapted to it really pretty good so so um he's he's you know just recently picked up the i eat i want um sentence so and, it, and he only says, duh, he doesn't say ma really that much. So I've been trying to get him to work on that too because eventually my husband's going to go back to work and he'll be calling me dad if not. So, um, I mean, he knows that I'm mom, but he favors dad. So he'll, he'll walk right past me and ask dad for whatever so i mean it's fine it's totally fine but um it's funny because even my f five year old favors his dad he'll go dad 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 and, and I, i'll go what are you <laughs> and he'll go i'm talking to dad <laughs> And so it's like, fine, then I won't help you with whatever it is. I might answer you before dad does. Um, or you can answer. So he won't tell you what he wants. He won't tell me what he wants until his dad acknowledges him. So I'm like, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Fine, then. Little boogers. But, you know, you gotta love them. Goodness. It's kind of hard to peel this stuff back. Uh, I'm going to eventually cut it so that I don't have any issues with it. But I'm trying to keep it in some pretty large segments so that in the future I can reuse it. Um, and like on a, on another painting, um, but you can actually buy this clear plastic from Joann's fabric store if you have a Joann's in your area. Sorry guys. Alright, right now I have my camera on the lazy arm and my time lapse on the tripod just because that's the way I've been recording. So I just I kinda left it that way. So um trying not to rock you guys around, but um yeah.
So I haven't decided fully about about the kids going back to school, except the fact that my younger one, who definitely needs help, um, will not be able to attend if he doesn't go full. T um, if he doesn't go to the school. Because like I said, I don't think they are providing a virtual um, ECE course. If I'm going to send one, I might as well send them both. And like I said also, with my kids, they definitely need the extra help. Um, they, de they need to be in school without the distractions of, you know, life in you know, it's hard to be, even for me, I mean, like, sometimes I have work I gotta do, or something I need to do, and, and I'm like, oh, I just, I would rather be diamond painting than doing said work, <laughs> and most of the time, you know, I'm, it's fine, um, I don't have, you know, since I'm a stay-at-home mom I don't really have too much work to do other than maintaining my YouTube channel and you know stuff like that um, and around the house stuff but um, you know sometimes it's like I don't want to edit a video or I just want to dive and paint and so You know, I try to I try to balance it out. You know, because I want to be able to, you know, shoot my videos and and work on my diamond paintings, but I can only do one thing at a time. And it takes a little while to edit a video, especially a one-hour video, because uh, mostly with the kids. Um, you know, that if they're in the background, because my kids are not exactly the quietest. And so they'll yell, and they'll scream, and they'll cry, and they'll, you know, whatever they're doing. They seem to act up more while I'm on camera. Which, you know, most kids do. You know, it's like, oh, mommy's on the phone, or oh, mommy's on camera. So, it's time to act up. <laughs> Unfortunately. And so, um, that's, that's just the way it seems to be, especially with my kids. And <clears throat> my husband being home too, it's also worse because, um, if my husband is home, the kids act up more than they do when dad is not here. When dad is, when dad is here, um, they play less on their own and more like craving attention from dad. So whatever they have to do to get it from, get the at extra attention. And my husband could play all day with them, day in and day out. And they still crave his attention, his full attention all the time. So... Um, it's definitely not a lack of attention, um, uh, from him. It's just, um, and they don't always, um, get a hundred percent of his attention, you know, like before when he was working and stuff, because he would be gone for part of the day. And that also has something to do with it, you know, because he, um, he was doing Grubhub for a while and he had the amount of um, funds that we needed he needed to work an excessive amount of hours so there was a time span where he didn't get to see the kids very much especially since Atreyu was in school like all day um so this little stretch of unemployment that he's had since he got laid off for COVID. It's been kind of nice, especially for the kids, because 
they, you know, they love him so much, so, um, so, he's able to spend the days with them, them, and play with them, and read to them, and do all of the, all of the things that, because, um, he's receiving unemployment for right now, and so... We're hunting for jobs for him, but we're trying to keep him from having to go back to doing Grubhub um, because it's just it's kind of a pain in the butt uh, for him for him to to do. But um, it's just it's it's kind of hard because. We have to find him a job that pays at least more than $17 an hour. And um, the job he was doing was like seventeen forty an hour. And he still, he was still having to do Grubhub a little bit because of, we had to pay for health insurance out of pocket. Um, so... Uh, yeah, it kind of it kind of sucks right now. So He keeps applying for some jobs and they just keep saying like the job has already been taken and they didn't even call. So it's like how many people are applying for the jobs? Probably a lot considering you know what's going on in the world at this point. Um, but I just worry a little bit because like I said he has to have like kind of a high-end income and it's not it it's kind of sad because um when he was younger his you know whole family not whole family but like his grandfather his baba um and his aunt joanne and um like all these big influence influential people in his life you know, said, oh, you want to be a teacher? Yeah, you should be a teacher. And, you know, so they, because, they, you know, like I said, his Baba was a teacher and his Aunt Joanne was a teacher. And so they pretty much um, encouraged him to go to school to be a teacher. And he got to the credentialing program uh, and he didn't like the program that he was in. And so he basically failed out of it. And I was like, did you even really want to be a teacher? And he's like, not really. And then I'm like thinking like, why would you go to school all of that time and not actually want to be a teacher? I don't quite understand that and um, you know he joined the military during the last um, the last like when the job crisis was happening um, you know back in the earlier 2000s um, because he was having a hard time finding a job, so he joined the military thinking that there would be better opportunities for him. And, um, but, you know, since he's reserve, he only, he only drills a week and a month or whatever it is, whatever they end up doing, they change it so much all over the place. Um, and then with the COVID, they 
they, they're not even drilling, so, um, you know, they're doing virtual drills or something, I don't even know, but everything went virtual, so, but it really hasn't given him as great of opportunities as I would have, as we would have hoped that it would, um, and so, he honestly could, you know, work a decent job if he could get into a decent job. But the problem is, um, like, I could totally see him doing some kind of a state job, um, uh, but getting into those jobs are really hard. And even though he has, um, military and sometimes they do, you know, um, they do, like, preferential for, they, like, they, like, give, uh, military, like, five extra points or something when they take some of these, these tests to get in. At least, see, I haven't really looked into state jobs here in Colorado. Um, I have in California, and... I guess what they do is they give you, like, extra five points, um, kind of a thing, so, But yeah, him get him getting one of those jobs would I be would be ideal, like working for the state. But like I said, you know they're hard to get into. It seems, and he like never tells me what he wants to like what he's looking for, and so I end up finding jobs for him on like Indeed and stuff. And sometimes he's like no, 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 no. And I'm like, really? <laughs> um, not, not since he's been unemployed. Um, but, um, you know, like prior to, like before he started working at his, at his job, because we were trying to get him, um, off of however many hours, because he was working like 16 hours a day doing Grubhub. So it was, and, and his job that he was actually doing, I actually contacted him through Indeed. And so it was nice. And we were hoping that they would um, call and be doing rehiring or something. Um, but so far they have not um, rehired anybody. So uh, we don't know how long that'll even be. So I thought it would be like, you know, maybe a couple months, but it doesn't look like they're in a position to rehire anybody yet. And they did, they actually did have a position available um, for someone who, um, was stationary at a location, but, um, you know, it paid, like, so much less than what he was getting paid, and so, we actually, he couldn't afford to, to take that job, unfortunately, because, you know, like, the more, the less pay he gets in a, in a W-2 job, the more he'll have to pay, the more he'll have to make doing Grubhub on the side. And we would like to eliminate him having to do any Grubhub on the side. So, we're just trying to find him something... 
And since, um, since I'm a stay at home mom, it's really hard because paying for daycare, I'm, by the time I pay for daycare for the kids, I might as well not work at this point. So, and my kids need the extra help at home. So, it makes it really tough. I feel like I'm extra nasally today. I don't know why. And it's really frustrating. I don't like it. Today is the first day I have been home like alone just me and my kids since like this whole pandemic thing started <laughs> so i mean he's he's spent a couple hours outside the house to do maintenance stuff like um our cars had a couple of recalls on them um, so we both, we both have the same year, no, we both have different years, but the same make and model of a vehicle. So we both have Corollas and so the recall affected both of our cars. Um, I think it was like an airbag thing this time. And so he had to take, um, one car in one day and then, the, and then his car, my car one day and then his car the next um few days so um he had that and um and then you know like maintenance stuff like oil changes and stuff like that he um takes it to the dealership or he takes mine to the dealership since i have warranty on mine still and takes his to like Jiffy Lube or something, wherever he can find a coupon. And so that's like the longest he's been out of the house this whole time. Well, and then sometimes to grocery shop. Sometimes he, he takes forever to grocery shop. So <laughs> he he will go into a store and he doesn't know the layout of the store. Um, he, no matter how many times he's been there. He does not know where things are, so um, he'll skip a lot of aisles that have stuff down on that he actually needs to go down. So... And it's funny because I'm like, you used to do Instacart. <laughs> how can you not, um, how can you not know how to shop properly? <laughs> like, is this how you used to shop for the customer stuff? Because I, I will, I'll start off, you know, in a certain area on the outside. And then I will slowly you know trickle into all of the aisles that i need to go into um and i don't pass the aisles that i that i need necessarily um so uh, i might pass it if i'm like gonna go all the way to the back of the store to get milk or something like that and then that, that seems to be in the back of our walmart store and then I might go back 
um, and filter through the the actual channel um, the actual channel what <laughs> the actual aisles um, for the rest of it so hope they didn't wake my kids up stop knocking my neighbor's door is right on because they have a townhouse so their door is right attached to our to our wall and so if anybody knocks on their door it's like they're knocking on our wall <laughs> which kind of is annoying but I don't know why they made these apartments the way they did, but what I was... Alright, so it looks like we're down to two different colors for the rest of it. Well, there are some equal signs in there, so three different colors, I think. But... I was a little worried about the colors on this um, because I was worried that it was brighter than, not brighter, I was worried because the, the background on that end looked like it should be gray, but I was placing purple down there, so I'm like, what the heck? But I really, I really like how it's turning out, so... Um, it's, it, they definitely used muted colors. Um, they definitely used muted colors on the symbols, so they're not even, because some of them are not even the color of their backgrounds, so, like, this one is, like, the background is orange on that arrow, but, like, for instance, um, number seven, I believe is a purple, but on the background it looks brown, so, um, so when, when I first saw it, I was like, whoa, <laughs> um, and I think, but I think it's turning out really good. And like, I think the blending looks really good too from a distance, so. I might have heard one of my kids fuss. Yep, I did. Alright, so with that being said, I think I'm going to have to end this session. Um, just because I don't, I'm probably going to have to get up and feed them and all of that good stuff, so... Um, all right. Bye, guys.
Bye guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more diamond painting content.